Hey guys, I am very excited because on September 22nd there will be the opening of two new exhibitions at the Argos Art Center here in Brussels. I'm here standing in front of the Argos Center for Arts and Media in the Werfstraat 13 in the Cartier de Cai neighborhood, right around the corner from the Gare du Nord, the Place Rogier, and the square that I don't know the name of, which hosts this fritterie. Now, if I try to open the door of the Argos, it won't open because Argos is on summer break. It's locked. Okay, in the meantime, while I will travel back to my desk, I will show you an excerpt of a film that I found on the Argos website. I close my eyes and start to talk about my dream. First, I see a tree, then a forest. I don't know if that is symbolical. And then I see the town musicians of Bremen. You know, a donkey, a dog, a cat and a rooster. They are the protagonists of the Occupy Wall Street movement. The town musicians stand on each other and sing. And they take the house from the house owners. They made a revolution and it worked. No fear anymore. No oppression. The animals created a new consistency that allows other things to speak. But then the animals couldn't decide who would stand on whom. The donkey, or was it me, claimed that his back hurts. They started to work out different forms, but started to argue. Then they decided they need help and went to a therapist in order to get their revolution straight again. First alone, one by one, then in a group. But it was too late. Too much has been said. They tried hard. The cat, all about that it is exhausting to die having nine lives. Obsessive compulsive disorder from morning till evening because of that. Suicidal tendencies, sleeping disorder, lots of tears. The rooster about that he is just a laughable compensation. All about ego, father complex. The rooster really textbook classic. He even knows that and still finds no escape. The dog, well, dogs. All about adaption, never a no. Never a yes. And the donkey, having constant problems to make a distinction between the subjective and objective level. I remember that the therapist in the dream just wrote donkey, even with the other animals. And then I realized the donkey is me. I am every animal. And the animals I was dreaming about had already transformed into a narration or rather a regression or compression. And then the dream becomes quite sad. They are exhausted. They separate. They will not see each other again. They came together because they were robbed. They have nothing left, no liberty. They had to flee from those horrible conditions. In the dream I realize that I'm dreaming, but I cannot change the conditions of the dream. It ends with another landscape, which I cannot really describe. It is not determined, but has this strong notion of thievery, of uncanny, like a condition of my childhood. Then I woke up. I want to continue but the sound of the leather couch silences me and embarrasses me. 
I try to concentrate on why I find this embarrassing, but find no answer. That irritates me even more. Meanwhile, I'm sweating a lot because of the embarrassment. I'm dripping with sweat. I try to wipe the sweat off my forehead, but the movement of my arm causes so much noise, so much leather couch noise, that I hold the arm immediately still. I look like a tennis player who just hit the ball. The arm kind of sticks out of my body. Wow, that was a really nice video, wasn't it? Now, as this is a video about the art scene in Brussels, I want to ask the question, what does Argos collect and how? Let's take a look on the website. This is the homepage of the Argos website. And if we go on about mission and activities, we can find one sentence down here. We manage a collection that comprises circa 5,000 works. We are responsible not only for their preservation and restoration, but also for their presentation and for providing a reflection through, for example, collection research, publications, and a media library. In our comprehensive media library, the entire collection is accessible. So, Argos collects video art and presents video arts and exhibitions. And every time I visited Argos in the past, I had a really good time because they make a really good selection of videos and films that they present. Let's look into the trailer of a film that I saw the last time I was there, which was part of the following exhibition. C'est une quête qui te te prend une partie de ta vie. Quelque chose se lève comme ça, il barre l'eau comme ça là. Peut-être c'est le mot Une année, il sort rien que deux fois. Tu crois que c'est le mot Kélé ça Quel animal peut emballer tous les filets comme ça là Ils ont vu un énorme serpent euh, qui s'est soulevé de l'eau. Des écailles et des, des, des excroissances se très certainement sur l'eau du dos. Pour vous, un animal qu'on dit blindé, c'est quoi ah, C'est un truc euh, mystique, ah. difficile euh, à voir. Je ne suis pas un chasseur d'étoiles. La possibilité que l'homme qui est même existe est réelle. Alors, ça fait deux jours que je suis là, j'ai pas vu de bête. Hein. Mais qui, qui vous a raconté cela C'est un animal qu'on ne connaît pas, qu'on n'a jamais vu aussi. C'est impossible, c'est impossible. C'est la rencontre que tu espères toute ta vie. Quelque chose de très bref, mais de très intense. In the film, the main protagonist is trying to prove the existence of an animal with the name of Mokele Mbembe. It is said to be living in, on the Congo River, but its existence has never been proven. Another interesting film that I saw the other day when I was in the Argos Art Center was dealing with a whole different region. It was dealing with Belgium and the filmmaker asked seven prisoners to help her create the story of a crime film. Of course, the prisoners included their own experience as former criminals, but interestingly, also because the prisoners are in prison now and didn't succeed being criminals, um, this is a interesting profile about crime and storytelling and everything else.
Waar moet hier? Waar zit hem hier? Allee, ik spreek nu waar, maar ik zit ja. hier nu voor heel lange tijd vast. Heel mijn leven is weg, omdat ik twee moorden heb begaan. En dan nu gaan zeggen in een film, ook al is dat fictie, voor te zeggen van, poh, hij kan ook direct loskomen, dat is voor te zeggen van dat ik vind dat moord eigenlijk niet zo erg is. En dat kan ik, ik niet hebben, sorry. Hout komt altijd ergens vandaan, hout wordt niet meer geboren. Geen enkel kind wordt meer hout geboren. Ik denk dat dat een klein is dat droomt van, van respect te krijgen van iedereen. Ja. Al lachend op de voetbal tussen pot en pint. Ah, ja. Rap een klusje, geen risico, laag risico, ja. goud, juwelen. Hè. En brengt goed op en we al een af met een koper en al. Maar dat kan heel snel heel fout lopen. Want ik, als ik een overval deed, duurde dat zal de langer dan twee minuten. Ja, en dan, ze, dan had, had hij een overval gepland zonder slachtoffers. En dan, ja, tien minuten daarna, is er uh, een overval gepleegd zonder buit met een dodelijk slachtoffer. Een beetje ook een, een andere kijk heeft op uh, rechtvaardigheid. Ja. Ja, dat... beetje, eigenlijk een beetje haat krijgt naar het systeem. Ja, want justitie is geen synoniem voor gerechtigheid. Nee. Nee. Nee, justitie is eigenlijk gewoon een toepasser van regels. En rechtvaardigheid is een capaciteit van mensen. In de zin van, van kijk kerel, het liefst van al zou ik je kop van de laaf aftrekken. Maar dankzij uw verraad heb ik kunnen inzien dat ik fout bezig was en ben ik nu wie dat ik nu ben. Dus eigenlijk ja. moet ik u eerder bedanken dan u te ja. slagen. En dan geeft hem die in een hand. En dan uh, gaat hem weg. Dat is echt iets van de film. Oké, okay. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Argos Art Center. And if you embrace it. Go visit it. It's very exciting. It really is. And that's it from me for today. See you soon when it's time again for another video about the art scene in Brussels on my YouTube channel with the title of Let's Talk About Art.